Welcome back, sports fans, to Game 5 of the 1975 World Series replay using History Maker Baseball between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. The Reds tied up the series yesterday in controversial fashion to make it a 2-2 series before we head back to Boston to conclude the World Series. Today is the last game at Riverfront Stadium took place on October 16th, 1975, and Cincinnati won this game by a score of 6-2 to two in order to take a 3-2 to two lead heading back to Fenway. As it stands in our series, uh, the team that won in real life lost in our series. So we'll see how things go. The series is still tied 2-2 two to two after four games. But let's go down to the field and check out our starting lineups and get this game underway. Leading off for Boston in today's game will be left fielder Juan Beniquez. Second base will be Denny Doyle. First base will be Carl Yastrzemski. Behind the plate will be Carlton Fisk. Center field will be Fred Lynn. Third base will be Rico Petroselli. In right field, Dwight Evans. Shortstop will be played by Rick Burleson. And on the mound today for the Red Sox will be uh, right-hander Reggie Cleveland. For the Reds, leading off, playing third base, Pete Rose. And right field, batting second, will be Ken Griffey. Joe Morgan is at second base. Johnny Bench is behind the plate, batting fourth. Tony Perez will be at first base. George Foster in left field. Davey Concepcion is at shortstop. Cesar Geronimo is in center field and on the mound today for the Reds. Game one starter, Don Gullett. Our umpires for today's game, behind the plate, will be George Maloney. First base will be Satch Davidson. At second base will be Art France. Third base, Nick Colossi. Out in left field will be Larry Barnett. And out in right field, the star for the Reds yesterday will be Dick Stello. Both teams are semi-dissonant for today's game. And let's go ahead and get things underway as Juan Beniquez steps up to the plate to start game five. 4-6-6. Control to start. I says no. Is batter home run king or slugger? No. That's going to be a difficult ground out to the catcher for out number one. Next up will be the second baseman, Denny Doyle. Two, three, six. DB control or dynamic? No. Is pitch batting? No. And he's going to draw a walk. So Boston with their first base runner of the day is the first baseman, Carl Yastrzemski, comes up to the plate. 3-4-4, four, four. is the pitcher prospect? No, is the batter patient? Sardai says yes, and he's going to draw a walk. So once again, Boston gets a couple runners on in the first inning. I think they've done that the past couple games. And Carlton Fisk comes up to the plate. He's had a great series so far. See if he can keep it going. 2-5-6, struggler? No. Batter champion or patient? Sardai says he is not champion. So we're going to go to an infield drama check. Checking on 1-3. Third baseman is Pete Rose Iron. No, he is not. That's going to be a routine ground out for a 5-4-3 double play to end the first inning. So Boston with a couple on. Can't do anything with them. And we go to the Reds half of the first inning. Leading off for the Reds will be third baseman Pete Rose. He's facing Reggie Cleveland, who's seeing his first action in this World Series. 5-5-6. Five, five, is he an ace? No. Sad sack? No. That's going to be a double to right field for Pete Rose to start off the game for the Reds. The Reds fans here at Riverfront really enjoying the show Pete Rose has put on this series. Next up will be the right fielder, Ken Griffey. Still looking to get things going. 1-2-5. Had a couple hits in yesterday's game. Is pitcher struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No. And he is going to ground out to the third baseman for out number one. That will hold Rose at second base as the second baseman, Joe Morgan, comes up to the plate. 1-6-6 six, six is the pitcher workman. He is. That's a single to left field. Rose is going to stay put at third. And we now have runners on the corners here with one out. Johnny Bench coming up to the plate. We're going to a player experience check. 
Reggie Cleveland is semi-icon. Bench is full icon, so Bench could break things open here. 2-5, icon batter, yes, anticipates a pitch and drops a, uh, chops a single past the shortstop. That's going to drive in Rose Reds out to an early one to nothing lead as Morgan stops at second. And, and next up will be the first baseman, Tony Perez. Runners on first and second here with one out. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? Desired Eye says yes, and that's a single to left field. Is Morgan active? He is. And that is going to drive in Joe Morgan from second base. Bench will go to second. It is two to nothing. Reds here still with one out in the first as runners at first and second. And Reggie Cleveland becomes a semi-struggler. He has given up three base hits in a row. And George Foster strides up to the plate. Still with the runners at first and second with one out. 4-4-5 four, four, is the pitcher Workman. The cider die says he is. That's going to be a double to right field. Let's see here. Runners advance two bases on singles. Bench is going to come in to score. Tony Perez is stoic. He's going to hold up at third base. And it is three to nothing Reds still with just one out in the inning. Cleveland becomes a full struggler until he gets an out. Reds are up three to nothing. The Red Sox are going to get a reliever warming up again. Jim Burton is going to start getting warmed up. In case Reggie Cleveland still continues to run into trouble. Davey Concepcion will be up next. Runners at second and third here with one out. One, three, four, gold catcher, no. Fisk is neutral. Is the batter champion, no? That's going to be an outfield drama check. Two, six. We're going to look at the center fielder. Is he stoic? That is uh, Fred Lynn. He is not stoic, so two, six. He's going to make the grab for the out. Active runner on third scores. Perez is not active, so that's going to be a fly out to center field for out number two. Reggie Cleveland loses his stoic or his struggler traits. And we go to Cesar Geronimo here with two outs, runners on second and third. 166. Is he a workman? The side eye says yes. That's a single to left field. And that is going to score Perez from third. Foster is going to come home to score since there are two outs. And the Reds have just absolutely blown this open as they have runners, or have taken a 5 to nothing lead already, just like they did in yesterday's game. So wheels really falling off for Boston as the pitcher is set to come up. Don Gullett, we go to a player experience check. They're going to see if... Uh, Cleveland can get the pitcher out, but now he is semi-struggler and not fresh for giving up five runs. We go to a player experience check for Gullet, who is semi-icon. Cleveland is semi-icon. 2-2. Two, two. Prospect pitcher? No. And that's going to be a pop-out to the pitcher. We're out number three, but big inning there for the Reds. As they jump out to an early five to nothing lead after one here at Riverfront. Fred Lynn looks to get things started here in the top of the second inning. As Boston has dug themselves into a hole, they've got a long way to go if they want to get back into this thing. Five, six, six is pitcher wild. No. Batter good eye, no. And Lynn is going to strike out for out number one. When we go to a baseball right now check for Rico Petroselli, who is neutral. Don Gullet is semi hot. One, two, hot batter, no. He's going to ground out to the shortstop for the second out. And right fielder Dwight Evans up to the plate next. Four, five, five. Is the pitcher flash? The side eye says he is. And Evans is going to strike out for a quick one, two, three. Here on top of the second inning. Boston is going to have a pitching change. As Reggie Cleveland goes out after giving up five runs in the first inning. And Jim Burton will be coming on the pitch. As the first batter he is going to face will be Pete Rose. 
had a double, came around to score his first time up. Uh oh, six 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 is pitcher ace. No, is the batter sad sack? No, that's a deep drive glove shot. And we are going to look at the center fielder, Fred Lynn. Is he gold? He is semi gold. The cider die says yes. He's got a chance to rob it in center field. He needs a one. And he doesn't get it. Six. That is off his glove. So he leaps. Bounces off his glove and rows with a home run to lead off the top of the second inning. Pete Rose has definitely been a difference maker in this series. When he's been hitting well, they've been winning games. I think uh, game two or game three, he didn't hit too well and ended up they ended up losing pretty good. So Ken Griffey will be up next, grounded out to the third baseman. First time up, 246 control, yes, and he's going to ground out to the pitcher for out number one. That'll bring up second baseman Joe Morgan, singled, scored last time up. 126 is a pitcher fresh. He's going to line out to the second baseman for out number two. And the catcher, Johnny Bench, up next, singled, uh, singled in. Rose, his first time up, 566. Is the pitcher wild? No. Is the batter good eye? No. And he's going to strike out. Four out number three, but the Reds tack on one more. It is six to nothing heading to the top of the third inning. As Rick Burleson set the hit for the first time today. One, two, six. Is the pitcher fresh? He is, and that'll be a line out to the second baseman for out number one. Burton is going to go ahead and hit for himself as they try to get another inning or two out of him. 266. He's going to fly out to right field. That's two quick outs as Juan Beniquez comes up. Grounded out to the catcher his first time up. 235. Is pitcher wild? No. Batter eager? No. And he's going to ground out to the second baseman this time for the third out. So another quick one, two, three for Don Gullett. And we go to the bottom of the third inning. Red still up six to nothing. As Tony Perez comes up for the second time today, singled in an RBI, scored his last time up. Jim Burton coming out for his second inning of work. One, two, three, flash, fresh, no. Perez is going to ground out to the shortstop for out number one. George Foster doubled in. RBI and later come around to score in that first inning is up next. One, two, six, fresh. Insider die says he is. Foster is going to line out to the second baseman for out number two. Davy Concepcion comes up to the plate, flew out to the center fielder his first time up. Two, four, or four, four, five. Is the pitcher a workman? No. Is the batter patient? No. And he's going to ground out to the first baseman for a quick one, two, three inning for the Reds. We go to the top of the fourth inning. It is still Reds six to nothing here in Riverfront. Game five. This game moving right along now. As Denny Doyle comes up to the plate for a second time today, walked his first time up. Don Gollett coming out for the fourth inning of work. One two two. Is he a workman? No. Champer Whiffer? No. Not this time. And Doyle is going to line out to Rose at third base for out number one. Carl Yastrzemski comes up to the plate, walked his first time up. 3-3-5, three, three, is the pitcher wild? No. Sad sack? No. That's going to be a single to right field, and he's going to end up moving to second on a stolen base. So Carl Yastrzemski getting in a scoring position for the catcher. Carlton Fisk, who grounded out to a double play his last time up. 3-5-6, are they the same? Lefty on righty? No. Utility sad sack? No. That's going to be a single down the line. And that is going to see here. That's going to bring in Yastrzemski from second. As Boston gets onto the board, it is six to one Cincinnati. Here in the top of the fourth inning, as Fred Lynn comes up to the plate, over one with a strikeout, one out. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No, he is not, and he's going to fly out to center field. Route number two will go to a team chemistry check for Rico Petroselli 0 for 1 on the day. Both teams are semi-dissonant. 
one, two, is the batting team dissonant? The sighted eye says no, that's going to be a fence shot. And we go to the other chart for Petroselli, three, that is a double. And on a double, uh, Fisk is going to move to third base and be held up. So Red Sox now have runners at second and third with one, uh, two outs as Dwight Evans comes up to the plate next. He struck out his first time up. 1-1-4 one, one, is the pitcher fresh. He is. We're still in our fourth inning of work, and that's going to be a ground out to the shortstop to end the fourth inning for the Red Sox. A little bit of life for him that inning, but they can't cash in on two runners in scoring position. And it is six to one heading to the bottom of the fourth inning. And Don Gullet is now semi-fresh. Boston is going to roll the dice here and try to get through the eight-nine-one with Burton still out there on the mound. He is now not fresh, but he is set to do up in the next or set to come up in the next inning. So they're going to try to get him through this inning so they don't have to, uh, so they can save some of their bullpen. As Cesar Geronimo comes up to the plate, singled in two runs in his first at bat. One five six. Is he a whiffer? Desired Eye says no. We go to an outfield drama check. One five. Is the left fielder gold? That's going to be Beniquez, and he is. So that's a running stab of a sharp drive to left field for a fly out. And we go to a team chemistry check next for Don Gullet. 2-2. Two, two. Is the batting team dissonance? The cider die says yes. The batter not focused. Reaches out for an outside pitch and grounds out to the first baseman for the second out. So Burton may get through this, but he's got Pete Rose coming up. He was doubled and, home and hit a home run so far this game. Boston is going to go ahead and have someone up in the bullpen just in case. He doesn't get the out. Boston is going to look for uh, look forward to that long time off. That's five games uh, until game six. This is October 16th, and they play again on October 21st, so they're going to send out some uh, starting pitchers in order to get through this game. So they'll have five days off in between next start. So Pete Rose... Coming up next, he's going to see if he can't dig into that bullpen a little bit. 2 3 6. DB controller dynamic. No. Is the pitcher batting? No. And he's going to draw a walk. So Rose keeps the inning alive for Ken Griffey. 0 for 2 on the day. Two ground outs. 1 6 6. Is the pitcher a workman? No. Is the batter a whiffer? No. And Griffey's going to ground out to the third baseman to end the threat. So Boston rolled the dice and ended up getting through it unscathed as we go to the top of the fifth inning here, 6-1 in Cincinnati. Rick Burleson coming up next to lead us off in the bottom, top of the fifth inning, lined out to the second baseman his first time up, 2-4-5. Is he a hero? No. He's going to pop out to the second baseman for out number one. We'll go to a player experience check for the pinch hitter who is coming up. And that is going to be Doug Griffin. So Doug Griffin will be pinch hitting for Jim Burton. Burton gave a good, gave a good three solid innings. Only gave up one run. But. So player experience check. Both uh, Gullet and Griffin are semi-icon. 3-4. Prospect batter, no. He's going to ground, uh, ground out number up the first base line. So we'll say that Gullet came off the mound and tossed it to Perez at first for out number two. And left fielder Juan Benique, or yes, Juan Beniquez will be coming up here on top of the fifth inning with two outs, no runners on. One, five, six. Is he a whiffer? No, that'll be an outfield drama check. Four, five. We are going to look at center fielder. Geronimo, is he gold? Yes, he is. That's a sinking liner for a sliding grab line out to center field for out number three. 
So nothing doing for the Red Sox. One, two, three that inning. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Score still the same. 6-1 Cincinnati here at Riverfront. Jim Burton's day is done. He came out and did the job. Got three solid innings for Boston after Cleveland struggled after the first inning. So coming out to pitch next for Boston will be Bill Lee. And the first one he will face, he's going to have a tough spot as the 3-4-5. Morgan Bench Perez will be up this inning. Morgan one for two on the day. And Cincinnati looking to get a few more runs on the board so they can coast to Boston. 4-6-6, pitcher have control. He does, and that's the 4-6-6. Pitch is red, and that's a single to left field for Joe Morgan. So Morgan with his second hit of the day. He is active. We're going to see if he can get a jump here. He gets the jump. Let's see if he steals the base. And he does. So Morgan on to second as Johnny Bench is up next. One for two on the day with an RBI. Whoa. 2-2-4 two, two, pitching at home. No. Is the batter a slugger? The side eye says yes. That's a double to left field. That's going to drive in Morgan from second base. And Bench with his second RBI of the day as the Reds go up 7-1. to one. And The next batter Bill Lee will face will be Tony Perez, who singled in a run earlier in the game. 1-2-5. Is the pitcher a struggler? No, he is not. Is the batter patient? No. And he is going to strike out for out number one as the left fielder George Foster comes into the box. He is one for two on the day with a double RBI. I'd like to add one more RBI here. One, three, four, or one, three, five. That's a ballpark check. We're going to look at four, six. Is it a big ballpark? The decider die says no. That's going to be a home run king hits a home run, others fly out. Foster needs a dot here to hit the home run. He doesn't get it, so he's going to fly out to left field for out number two. Hit it right to the warning track, but unable to get it out as the shortstop Davy Concepcion comes up to the plate. Over two today. Two outs, runner at second base here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No. And he's going to fly out to center field for out number three. Reds tack on one more. It is seven to one as we go to the top of the sixth inning. Bill Lee gets one more inning of freshness since he is a starting pitcher, so I consider him a long reliever. Don Gullett is in his second inning of semi-freshness. So he's got this one and the seventh inning before he loses it. So Denny Doyle stepping up to the plate here in the top of the sixth inning to lead us off 0 for 1 with a walk. Uh-oh, 3-3-3 three, three, three. is the batter utility or sad sock sack. No, he is not. That's a triple to the gap. Is he a home run king? No. So Denny Doyle with a leadoff triple to start things off here in the top of the sixth inning as the first baseman Carl Yastrzemski comes up to the plate, singled and walked. So far in this game. 3-5-6. Are they the same? Lefty on lefty. That'll be a strikeout for the first out as Carlton Fisk comes up to the plate. Singled his last time up. He's had a good series. 2-5-5. Five, five. Is the pitcher star? No. Now we roll a star. Remember last game we couldn't roll a star, uh, an ace because the, uh, the starting pitcher was a star. But this time... 255 five. star no is the batter home run king no that's going to be a fly out to left field is Denny Doyle active no he is not so he is going to stay put at third base as there's now two outs in the inning in the center fielder Fred Lynn going to see if he can't drive Doyle in he's 0 for 2 on the day 446 four, is the pitcher star no is the batter sad sack utility or patient no and that's going to get the run in as Lynn singles to right field and drives in Doyle to make the score 7-2 to Reds. As we go to a player experience check for Rico Petroselli, who is full icon. Don Gullett is semi-icon. 
two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. One in, one on, one three. Prospect pitcher, no. And he's going to get a ground out to the third baseman. Rose for out number three. The Red Sox add one. It's seven to two as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And set to lead off. Bottom of the six for the Reds will be center fielder Cesar Geronimo. One for two on the day with a couple RBIs. Bill Lee coming out for his second inning of work. One, four, six. Is he flash? No. Is the batter champion? No. Geronimo is going to ground out to the second baseman for out number one. Don Gullett strides up to the plate now. Reds fans on their feet cheering for him. He's had a heck of a performance today. 2-4-5. Is he a hero? No, he is not. And that's going to be a pop out to second base. For out number two. And then a player experience chart. Check for Pete Rose. Rose, two for two on the day. He is full icon. Bill Lee is semi-icon. 2-6. Icon pitcher. Decider die says no. The batter drops a single over second base, so Pete Rose on for the fourth time today with his third hit as he singles into right field and brings up Ken Griffey. Griffey's the one that's been ending some innings. I think he's ended... Uh, he's had some ground outs today. So let's see if he can get out of this little mini slump he's in. One, two, three. He won't. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop for the third out. Griffey is, he must have done, he did a lot better in real life. But I'd say if he's in, if I was managing the team, his butt would be on the bench. As we go to the top of the seventh inning, score is 7-2 to here at Riverfront. Bill Lee is now semi-fresh. Don Gullett is in his last semi-freshness inning. And he faces right fielder Dwight Evans to lead off top of the seventh inning. Evans over two on the day. One, two, six. Is pitcher fresh? No. The side eye says no. Is the batter sad sack? No. And he's going to single past Morgan at first base to lead off the top of the seventh inning. We're going to go to a baseball right now check. Rick Burleson is... He flew out, he popped out to the second baseman his first, his last time up, so he is full cold. Don Gullett just gave up a hit, so he's full cold. 5-5, five, five, timeout, comps on the mound, and Gullett gives up a walk to Burleson. As the Red Sox now have runners at first and second here, with still with nobody out, and a pinch hitter will be coming up for Bill Lee. Jim Rice is going to come out to hit, and he has got the traits to do it. First and second here with nobody out. Don Gullett starting to wear down a little bit. Three, four, six. Is the batter eager? Desired Eye says yes, and he's going to fly out to center field for a much needed out number one. And Juan Beniquez come up for the fourth time today, over three as he's got runners at first and second here with one out. Three, three, six. Pitcher ace or dynamic, he is ace, and that's gonna be a fly out to center field. So Beniquez, 0 for four on the day. As we go to a player experience check for Denny Doyle. Doyle is semi-icon, Gullet is semi-icon. One, four. Prospect batter, no, and that's gonna be a bloop single with two outs. That is going to drive in Evans from second base. And Burleson is going to move to second as it is now 7-3 to three Cincinnati here in the top of the seventh inning. If Boston is going to really get back into this game, now is the time as Carl Yastrzemski comes up to the plate. They need to get to Fisk. If they can load the bases and have Fisk come up, they have a good chance at tying this thing. Two outs here, runners at first and the second base. Yastrzemski up to the plate. Uh-oh, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Is he utility or sad sack? No, that's going to be a triple to the gap. That is going to score two runs as Yastrzemski hits a bases clearing triple. Burleson is going to come in to score. 
and Doyle is going to come in to score. And just like that, Boston is right back in this thing. As they add two more, it is seven to five now. And was that three in a row? No, it wasn't. But the Reds are going to have a reliever warming up. Pedro Bourbon is going to be warming up in the bullpen as Carlton Fisk comes up to the plate. Flew out his last time up, but he has been dangerous this series. Runner on third base here with two outs. Two, three, three. Is the pitcher ace or a star? To Saturday says no. Is the batter a slugger? He is. And Fisk has just tied this ball game up with a two-run shot to left field. Oh my goodness. This ball game is now tied. Hoo wee. What a turn of events. As Gullet is going to go ahead and head out of the game. I hate to do it. But Burton and Cleveland are now off the hook. Pedro Bourbon is going to come on in here in the top of the seventh inning to try to end this rally as Fred Lynn steps up to the plate, singled in a run his last time up. 1-1-2, one, one, is the pitcher flash? No. Is the batter sad sack? No, that's going to be a check with score, so we're going to have another runner on base. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle for Lynn. Things are falling apart for the Reds as Rico Petroselli comes up now. One, two, three. Flash? No, but that's going to be a ground out to mercifully end the top of the seventh inning. So they got one, two, three, four, five runs. As we go to the bottom of the seventh now, Reds stunned as Boston is right back in this. So Lee is going to go out of the game. And Boston is going to send out Jim Willoughby. I know he pitched yesterday, but they are they're hurting right now for pitching. Go ahead and add him. Jim Willoughby will be out to face 3-4-5 of Morgan Bench and Perez. 3-4-5 needs to get a run across here this inning. 1-4-6. Is the pitcher flash? The side eye says no. Is the batter champion? The side eye says no. That's going to be a ground out to the second baseman for out number one. As Johnny Bench comes up to the plate, singles and a single and a double today. One, two, five. Is the pitcher a struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No. And he is not a whiffer, so that's going to be a ground out to third base. Petroselli for out number two. Tony Perez coming up next. Struck out his last time up. Need you here, Perez. One, three, five. Oh, that's a ball, ballpark check. Come on, be good to us, Riverfront. One, three. Is it a small ballpark? No, it is not. First baseman makes a catch of a towering foul ball for an out. So the stadium was, you know, you got them, the wide foul territories. Gave you Stremski plenty of room to get to it. And the Reds go down one, two, three as we go to the top of the eighth inning. Here at Riverfront, Pedro Bourbon comes out for his second inning of action. He's going to face Dwight Evans leading off for Boston. One, two, five. Is the pitcher a struggler? No. Batter patient? No. Not a whiffer, so he's going to ground out to third baseman Rose for the first out as the shortstop Rick Burleson comes up next. Walk later came around to score his last time up. Two, three, six. DB control? Yes. So that's going to be a ground out to the pitcher. For Burleson, the next batter coming up was going to be a pinch hitter, which would have been um, Bernie Carbo. However, Carbo, since Bourbon is double DB control, grounds out to the shortstop automatically. And a quick 1-2-3 inning for the Reds. Bourbon is now not fresh. And we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. 
score tied 7-7 as the Red Sox go to their bullpen once again. And I know Louis Tiant is pitching next game. So Diego Segui is going to come back out, pitched yesterday, and he faces George Foster to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Two, three, four, runners on base, no. Hot batter, no, he is not. And that's going to be a pop out to the third baseman. If he was hot batter, that'd be a good chance for a home run. But just misses it, gets under it. And Petroselli able to bring it in as Davy Concepcion comes up next. One, three, four, gold catcher, no. Champion, no. That's going to be an outfield drama check. We're going to look at 2-3. The center fielder, is he iron? That'll be Fred Lynn. I don't believe so. No, he is semi-gold. So that's going to be an easy fly out for Concepcion. As there are now two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning. Cesar Geronimo coming up. Going to try to get to the pitcher spot. 3-5-6. Are they the same? Righty on lefty, no. Utility or sad sack? No, that's going to be a single down the line. So Geronimo does his job as Bourbon is going to come out. They're going to have a pinch hitter up to hit for him. Who do I want it to be, though? Um, got a righty. So Doug, Dan Dreesen. You know, it seems like I go to him quite a bit. But he's going to see if he can't work a miracle here. He comes up to bat against Diego Segui. Two outs here in the bottom of the eighth inning. One, five, six. Is he a whiffer? No. That's going to be an outfield drama uh, check, so there is still a chance. One, five. The left fielder, is he gold? That is Beniquez, and yes, he is. That's a running stab of a sharp drive to left field for and out. So nothing doing for the Reds. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Here at Riverfront, Diego Segui is now semi-fresh. Reds are going to send out Clay Carroll to face the one, two, three hitters. Both teams have their one, two, three hitters coming up for the ninth inning. So Juan Beniquez will lead things off. It's getting to be exciting, folks. Don't go anywhere. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No. That's going to be a fly out to center field again for Beniquez. We go to a team chemistry check. Both teams semi dissonant for Denny Doyle. One, two. Is the batting team distance? The cider, size, the cider die says yes. And that is a called strike three for Denny Doyle. The cider die would have come up blank. That would have been a fence shot. And I'd be crying right now. As Carl Yastrzemski comes up to the plate, they need this out. Two outs here in the top of the ninth inning. They need this one. One, four, five. Pitcher a struggler? No. And that's going to be a ground out to the first baseman. Perez. And Boston comes up empty-handed as we go to the bottom of the ninth here in Cincinnati. Score tied 7-7. Diego Segui out for his second inning of work as Pete Rose comes up. He has been dangerous this game. Three for three with a couple RBIs. One RBI, a couple runs scored, a home run. Let's see if he can do it again here. One, two, five. Is the pitcher struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No, and he is going to ground out to the third baseman his first out of the day. And Ken Griffey comes up to the plate 0 for 4. If any time he needs a hit, it is right now. 1, 2, 6. Is the pitcher fresh? No, he is not. Is the batter sad sack? No. That's going to be a single pass second base. And we go to a player or a baseball right now check from Morgan. So he just, Sigi just gave up a hit, so he is cold. Morgan grounded out his last time up. He is cold. So Joe Morgan, cold, 4-6. Hot pitcher, no. 
grounder to pitcher with the only play at first base. So Morgan is going to ground out to the pitcher while Griffey moves on to second. And there are two outs here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And big Johnny Bench coming up to the plate next. Let's see here. Griffey is neutral runner. So we can get a ball to the outfield. That could be ball game. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? Decider Die says yes. That's a single to left field. And with two outs, runner on second base. He comes in to score. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Two, four, five. Hero, single to left field. Um, active runner on second base scores. So, Griffey does not get the automatic score. However, we're going to see if we can attempt an extra base here. First, got to roll the decider die. If it comes up dot, he gets a chance. Blank, he doesn't. Oh, so Griffey's going to hold up at third. Sorry, folks, I got a little excited there, if you couldn't tell. But we got runners at first and third here, and Tony Perez coming up next. Infield won't be in. They're going to be play regular depth. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, either Perez or Foster is going to do it here. Tony Perez, two outs here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Runners on the corners. Two, five, six. Is the pitcher a struggler? He has not given up three in a row, so no. Is the batter champion or patient? No. That's an infield drama check. Oh, boy. Hearts pounding. Five, six. Is the first baseman gold? That is Carl Yastrzemski. He is not. 5-6, um, ball sails over the head, batter safe at first on an error by the pitcher, Diego Segui. He overthrows Yastrzemski at first. If Yastrzemski was gold, he was able to leap up and grab it. But otherwise, ball sails over the head, batter safe at first on the error. And this one, I probably can't say it, even though Marty Brenneman's not going to watch my channel anyway. Reds win. Griffey comes home, and they celebrate at home plate. Oh, man. Teammates mob around Griffey at home plate. Finally gets on and gets around. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Whew. That game was a lot more stressful than it needed to be. Reds jump out to a 5 nothing lead. Boston scores 5 in the 7th. But all that matters is that Reds are, the Cincinnati Reds are ahead 3-2. Three, three games to 2 as we go to Boston. Oh my. I was playing by the rules. I didn't homer them. You know, I could have I could have screwed up and said Griffey was going home on benches hit, but he had to hold up. But there was an error on the pitcher Diego Segui, who ends up taking the loss. I don't even know. The win goes to Clay Carroll, I guess. But tomorrow night, game six, as we go to Fenway, Reds are up three to two. They actually won this game in real life, so the first time. First time the team won that should have. But anyway, guys, uh, if you saw the image pop up, and I don't know what it's going to be, I have a fairly good idea of what it's going to be. Well, now I don't know after that. I had a good idea back in the seventh inning what it was going to be, but it may still be it. It's a fun image. But anyway, guys, if you saw that image, let me know. Put down in the comments the time that it happened, and I will pin your comment at the very top. The final for today, Reds 8, Red Sox 7 as we go to Game 6 at Fenway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I appreciate a like. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Um, I get excited about doing these videos. I get excited during these games, especially Reds games. I, I haven't really even played with anyone else, so I've got a few things I've got planned where I'm going to be playing with different teams. So I'm kind of curious myself to see what the reactions are going to be like. And uh, really looking forward to it, guys. Hope you guys are too. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. 
Have a good night.